today we're going to do a multiplication, but we're, I've written it on paper and we're just gonna imagine a material that we're using. Maybe we'll imagine the flat bead frame. So in order to do this multiplication, the first thing I would do is I would just pay attention to our units multiplier and I would multiply everything times that. So let's start that way. We have eight times three is 24. So I'm gonna put my four here, but remember my two because I know I'm gonna have more tens to work with. Seven tens times three is 21 plus the two I'm remembering, so that's 23 tens. So I'll leave my three here, but remember the two because I know I'll have more hundreds. Two hundreds times three is six plus the two. Six thousands times three, that's 18. Put the eight and remember our one and ten thousand. Four ten thousands times three, that's twelve ten thousands plus the one, so thirteen. Forty six thousand two hundred seventy eight times three equals one hundred thirty eight thousand eight hundred thirty four. We have our units partial product, but now we need to multiply everything here by 20. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is just know that we're multiplying it all times 10. Just like when we slide on the flat bead frame, we slide the multiplicand over, we're just gonna put that zero right here, just like we do when we slide it. So now we can simply multiply by two. Eight times two is 16. I'll remember the one. 7 times 2 is 14, plus the 1 is 15. I'll remember 1 again. 2 times 2 is 4, plus the 1 is 5. 6 times 2 is 12. I'll remember that 1. And 4 times 2 is 8, plus the 1 is 9. So now we have our two partial products, and we know, just like on the flat bead frame, we would do that addition. So... So 46,278 times 23 equals 1,064,394. I wonder if you could do more long multiplication all on paper, just imagining the material.